It's a truth universally acknowledged that parents are crap at raising their kids. What are you doing? Obsessed with the petty things in life. Homework. You tidied up. Tidy bedrooms. I do not want to come back to any mess anywhere. No social media, no computer games, curfews. Wow. Parents are ridiculously uptight and unchilled. You think about doing some, like, homework in here then? No. So we're going to send the parents away. Have fun with these two. See you later. And put their kids <laughs> under the care of a nanny just a few years older. Will our young nannies do a better job than the parents? Closer in age and interests, let's see if our young nannies find a better balance of freedom and order to create a happy home. Meet the Moore family from Darlington. Alice is a keen volleyball player. Brother Connor hardly ever gets off his games console. And this is single dad Michael. He does all the work around the house. The kids don't lift a finger and he desperately needs a break. So we're sending him off to a luxury hotel for a few days for a well-deserved rest. I'd say we all get along, like we don't argue. If we're upset, we just say it to each other and then we just get over it. Oh yeah, we just kick each other in the dick and just move on. <laughs> but yeah, because I have off. a dick. Alice, you've got the biggest dick up with the three of us. <laughs> <laughs> this is Miriam, the nanny. She's only 23, but already a strict disciplinarian with many ideas for running an orderly home. No phones at the table, no iPads, no laptops, nothing like that. Um, if they do want to bring them to the table, they have to put them in the middle. The first person to pick them up has to do the washing up. Connor's hoping for a fit nanny so that he can try and pull her, which he's said about 20 times, but Dad didn't he say it? See. Don't sit there all day playing games when you can be outside playing or, you know, socialising with people. The worst thing they could probably do is turn off the internet. Not sitting against a TV screen all day playing against someone online that you've never met before. Go meet them. About seven different consoles. I've got two Xbox 360s, an Xbox One, a PS4. Two Wii's. Like, two laptops, two Wii's, and a PC that's in the room there. For me, I am strict, I would say yes, in certain areas. Push me to my boundaries and, yeah, that's it, I'm gone. <laughs> a keen equestrian, let's see if Miriam's knowledge of training horses comes in useful for looking after Connor and Alice. Hello. Hello, you're How all right? How are you? I'm Miriam, nice Hello, to Miriam. meet you. Hello, Miriam, come on in. Thank you. Kids, this Hi. is Miriam. It's Hi, just nice to meet you. I'm, I'm Alice. Alice. Nice to meet you. I'm nice to meet you guys. How are you? Miriam, have fun with these two. See ya. <laughs> Enjoy your time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. We won't miss you. As Michael <laughs> saunters off to his luxury hotel, <laughs> Miriam instigates a crash course in cooking shepherd's pie to help them all bond. Do you like peeling potatoes? No. Do you know how to? <laughs> no. No? <laughs> no? You literally know nothing about cooking. How old are you? 15. And you don't know how to cook? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Basically, I want to connect with you guys. I'm not here to just be horrible to you. I'm here to kind of help you learn new skills, help you cook, help you be able to socialise with friends. So you don't have any other interest whatsoever other than games? No. You know there's a whole world out there. You know that? Yeah. So many different people as well. Do you not, do you not like want to go travelling or meet different people and kind of socialise with different people? Not really. Connor, you're not going to be playing on games, as maybe at all. Okay. Okay. Uh, rules, don't swear at me. I don't like swearing. Please don't swear at me, it's very rude. Okay. Okay, I won't swear to you, so please don't swear to me. Now that a bit of cooking has brought about an understanding and rapport between nanny and kids, tomorrow promises the prospect of exciting life-changing improvements to Connor and Alice's way of life. Are you happy with what you've achieved, Connor? Considering um, you've never done it before? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? Sweet. Do you think you'll ever do it again? No. Charming. Thanks. It's the next morning. Connor has an early start. Connor, time to get up. You awake? Yep. It's time for school to get ready. No. Okay, what about breakfast? No. Can you not squeeze a piece of toast in? It's really important to have breakfast in the morning, isn't it? No, I'm not hungry. Have a good day at school, and I'll see you later. Go. All right. Do you want me to pick you up from school, Connor? No, thanks. Are you sure about that? Yeah. 
Okay. With Connor out of the way, Miriam starts to bring the very messy house back into order. I'm thinking about cleaning your room. How do you feel about that? Uh, I don't think there's much to do in my room, to be fair, but... I know this is what you're used to, yeah. but what if I took it to my level of cleanliness and tidiness? Okay, Alice, how do you feel now that we've tidied everything? Well, I thought it was all right now as it is, but now obviously seeing it as it is, obviously it wasn't all right. Completely different. Yeah. yeah. It's just amazing. It's just great. I absolutely love it. And there's no DVD stacked up high here now. Yeah. It's just so tidy and it's absolutely brilliant. Connor, back from school, is not so impressed. This is what I did. How long did you spend on this week? What, two and a half hours? Yeah, I went there. <laughs> You know, after last night, how would you feel about oh, she's been this? a proper bitch yesterday. Like, she's actually getting on my tits. Oh, she's like bitch. Connor, Alice, do you well. want to come down here? Sake, she's gone again. <laughs> Connor, let's be nice. Miriam has an intense programme of wholesome activities lined up for the rest of the day. So, guys, we're going to go on a walk now. A walk. Um, yeah, a walk. OK, yeah. so we're going to get some inspiration for our artwork. We're going to come back and do some arts and crafts. And, yeah. I really can't be asked. OK, well, we're, we're going to go on a walk and we're going to get some inspiration to do some different artwork. OK. OK, guys, can you see anything around you that would inspire you to make something on paper? Nope. No, like, what about a tree that you think that we could get some leaves from? To maybe recreate that onto a piece of paper? Yeah, one minute. <laughs> no, kind of now. Yeah, one minute. Can you just put your phone away, please? I've asked you nicely, Connor, please can you put your phone away? Yeah. Why aren't you listening? What would you see in this field to make and recreate on Grass. paper? Grass. Okay, that's good. So you're in? Connor, mm. so you're in? Yeah. Excellent. That's awesome. Uh, reads. Nice. Immature. Great. I love it. OK, so do you see anything here that you might want to recreate? Connor, yep. are you going to reply? To what? To what I just said. Uh, yeah, yes. Good idea, yeah. We just do that one. Okay, well, there was something positive there, wasn't there? Yeah. Good on you. Okay, should we carry on walking, guys? I like all the forensic stuff, like working out, you know, because I'd like. Working out the mystery of. Yeah, working out the mystery of how the like, died person's died. Yeah. Or, yeah. Okay, we like that in a different way. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to go on my neck for that one, yeah. No, you're not, kind of. Why? Because you have commitment here. Yeah, but this is a... I'd rather do that than this. OK, but we have an assignment to do. After we've done the assignment, you're more than welcome to go to your friends. But right now, you're taking part in this assignment, OK? Connor, that curtain's great. What was... What were you trying to create there? Waves. Waves, so like maybe ripples of the river that yeah. we've seen? Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's great. So, are you going to do like some colouring in? Like, do you want to put a bit of glitter on it? So, Alice, how's yours going? The trees, the river. Yeah. The grass. Um, the gate. The motorway. You missed all the dog shit. Was there any need to say that? Is it a multicoloured river? Yeah. You just used every single glitter there. And you still have patches. Can I go out now? No. You've not finished. OK, do you want to do some more cutting, Connor? I'll just kind of use them ones when you're done. Yeah, no, course. no, you can't use them. You have to use the safety scissors, Connor. Why? Because your cutting skills... 
you know. I think they need to be plastic scissors. Okay, Connor, I'd like you to participate in this. Please do try your best. Try and cut a leaf out for me. Maybe get a green piece of paper and then just do a stem in the middle. If I do this, can I go? After we've all finished, of course you can. Are you, like, taking the piss? Of course I'm not taking the piss. Connor, can you please sit down? Nope. Meanwhile, Michael is feeling lonely in his luxury hotel. He's anxious that the kids are having a good time. Now then, you little tosser, how long did it take to answer the phone? I, uh, I spoke to Alice and she said you were really hostile towards this nanny situation. What's going on? Do you want the nanny to stay for the rest of the week? A week? Yeah, a week. Do you want a week's worth of nanny? No. Why? She wouldn't. You, do, you wouldn't? So you don't fancy the nanny? No. What don't you like about the nanny? Connie, you have to really behave tomorrow because otherwise, if the nanny comes back whinging about you, you're going to be in serious trouble. Connor locks himself in his bedroom for the rest of the night. It's a bright new day in Darlington. Miriam has planned some even more scintillating activities for the day. Alice? <sighs> Coming. So today I'm thinking maybe to do some cleaning around the house for when your dad gets home. I think I should get the day off and Connor should do it as a punishment for walking out and being a tit yesterday. I think this is fair. OK, Connor. Don't really want to do it, but I guess I'll have to. Yeah, correct. You will have to. So, Connor, yesterday, yeah. let's talk about that. You walked out. Yeah. And you were angry. Yeah. And you were rude. Yeah. I don't take easy to that. Okay. It was very immature. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Do you regret doing it? A bit. That's good that you regret the way you acted yesterday. Can you just shut up and let us go clean? Connor, don't speak to me like that. Um. Guys, this is not okay. This needs to be cleaned now. Clean what? Your cat has had a poo behind the toilet. I don't know why I have to do this, Connor. It's fucking disgusting. You're all doing the lip box then. That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> Alice, what are you doing? Alice, what are you doing? Why aren't you helping us clean, Alice? Because I've finished. I thought I'd have a little nap. No. Alice, get up. Alice, now get up. Alice, you can't be this lazy. I want to see you downstairs in 10 seconds, right? Connor, what do you think you're doing? I'm taking this the is not acceptable. I expect you back in that kitchen in five minutes. You're just gonna have to deal with it, aren't you? In fact, get in there now, Connor. Yeah, queuing. Yeah. So if you're spawning you and then flying out, I'll meet you like back to like a group. Connor, I don't see you in this kitchen. <laughs> Don't be so immature. Miriam demands the kids re-clean surfaces in the kitchen she feels were not done well enough before. Do you think this clean's worth it then, Connor? Really can't be asked doing it. Do you reckon Dad'll like it though? Probably is. Are you just gonna go back on your computer like? Probably is. When? In a minute. Sure, I'll be happy about that, you know. I'm gonna give a shit. Probably kick off. Can't kick off. What if she turns your computer off though? She wouldn't dare. I don't know, like. Because she'll not flip out. Okay. Yeah, I'm going back in there on the computer. Are you, go are you going now? Yeah. She'll kick off. Don't care. Okay, play. I'm turning this off, Connor. What the fuck? 
Why are you doing that for? Half of a fucking game. I'm actually sick of you fucking shit. You can go fuck yourself. Fucking stupid fucking bitch. Miriam has had enough. Fortunately, Michael is returning in the nick of time. Hi. Hi. How do you get on? Yeah. Good. good. Okay, so I think my taxi's here. The kids are in the. Um, yeah. Oh. <laughs> kids, what did you do to her? Was it with her? Did you upset her? Has it been torturing her? House is clean. Used to and knackered. Probably I'm gonna have an air night tonight. This is good. I like this. <laughs> I think I might get a cup round next weekend as well. <laughs>